For the first time, America hits 100,000 overdose deaths in just one year. It's a sobering reminder of how the COVID-19 pandemic has taken resources away from fighting the opioid epidemic. THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us why the impact is especially troubling here in Arkansas. It's just a tragedy and it makes me wonder what could we do more. Kyle Brewer knows firsthand what drug addiction looks like. He became addicted to oxycodone after wisdom teeth surgery, which led to heroin. Now he's clean and helping those who were in his shoes by becoming an addiction counselor and working part time in an emergency room. Someone will share that they took they took one pill, one oxycodone or they did one line of even meth or, or cocaine and they overdose. And, you know, typically using that amount of those, you know, an oxycodone or doing a line of cocaine is not going to lead to an overdose. But what that tells me automatically is that that was cut with fentanyl. It's an ugly, perfect storm. In 2019, Arkansas was one of only five states where our overdose deaths decreased by double digits. Look at the progress we made going down by 17%. But then look what happens as the pandemic strikes. With less access to help and resources, overdose deaths soared by 55% and still trending up. When people are suffering uh, from isolation or desperation, um, and they're struggling financially or economically. Um, and then you have an uptick of um, substances, regardless of what they are, and especially now that a lot of the substances are laced with illicit fentanyl. But many Arkansans were saved by life-saving treatments. In 2019, 185 people were given naloxone, also known as Narcan, to prevent an overdose death. In 2020, 391 were given, and this year so far, 441. Where our naloxone program was and these other programs, if we didn't have these in place in 2020, I'm fearful what those numbers would have been. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. The state drug director expects our overdose deaths to increase from last year's, but there is still hope. He says our treatment and recovery facilities have been growing significantly in Arkansas. If you need help with addiction disorders, you can go to artakeback.org.